Hi, I'm John Olson from Artos, and I'll be demonstrating the CS326 for you running your 6 gauge, it looks like THHN wire. The CS326 is an all servo, fully programmable machine, so loading, programming is all done very simply and uh, very efficiently. Uh, I apologize for the tight uh, quarters here. We're actually in the middle of a, a summertime roadshow, and our demo machine is tied up in this uh, trailer, so uh, we've got to work in the confines of the space, and I hope you can understand that. So the first step is obviously to uh, to make sure that your uh, guides are all set up properly. Uh, guides are easily changed. They're all toolless. I can come in here and simply pop out an existing guide tube and slide in a new one. I've got a series of guides, uh, in-feed guide, out-feed guide, guide tube, etc. So once those are all set up, if I do need to change blades, my blade is done with a quick tool, a uh, quick change tool holder here. I simply have a thumb screw, I, I release the thumb screw, the blade pops out, I slide it in the blade. So the first thing I want to do now is load up the wire. I've got your wire strung on the floor here. Uh, you may see this wire, it's your uh, 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 six gauge, it looks like I said THHM wire. It's a little tight here, but I would come around the pulley. Normally this pulley would be here, and I'd be coming from three feet here. I simply load the wire into my straightener, through the straightener guides, into the machine. This is a run-out sensor. I run it through the machine, into the guide, the feed guide, and we're ready to go. Close the guard up. So now I've got the wire loaded. I'm going to hit the uh, start button. It's going to energize the machine. And once I do that, I'm going to feed. I'm going to close the feed rollers. And now I'm ready to start programming. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in to the program. I'm going to create a new wire. I'll call this uh, six gauge THHM. I don't know if that's what it is. It's what I'm calling it. Now, a special feature we have is we actually have a learn button here on the screen. If I hit this learn button and then hit start, now when I hit the go button, what it's going to do is it's going to actually come down and sense where the wire conductor is and set the blade automatically for that. So I'm going to come down. And it's determining what the diameter of the wire is. Once it's done that, it sets it in the uh, parameter there. I simply hit accept, hit OK. Now I've got it set up for a four inch piece, half inch strips on each side. Now all I have to do is hit go. It's going to scrap the first piece. I've got to slow down a little bit because it's like corners. And I'm off and running. So that is all the adjustment I need. If I do for any chance need to adjust the diameter for some reason it didn't quite find the right diameter, I can come on screen here and adjust it. Other than that, we're ready to run. I'm already producing wire. Uh, if I want to change the wire length, I can come in here and type in five inches. If I want to change the strip length, I can type one inch there. We'll do a one inch with a partial strip. Hit the go button, and I'm off and running. So now I've just changed it. I've changed the length. I've got a partial instead of a full strip. That's essentially it. That is the setup of the machine. I hope that's helpful in, in determining uh, what you want to see in the machines. And uh, we certainly uh, appreciate your consideration of our tools. Thank you.